offering a site in town. And when you look at the region, every other county, the the county support went up to that fifteen to you know fifteen thousand a year of support. And when I asked at the state level, what is the what is the community mental health? Well, their budgets are back in two thousand eight. Um, is what they got cut back to. And so I feel like we're in this trajectory. Now they just got more grant funding to bring them up to like, you know, or not grant funding. They, the state has allotted them more to redevelop and re-get their, their funding. They're also looking at the Medicaid expansion, you know. So they're working, but it's slow. It's like two years down the road, and how do we sustain in the middle and how do we address the mental health issues that we're seeing? I mean, the schools, I don't know if this is public knowledge. You're not going to put this in the paper, but they... You're live on camera, so... Oh, never mind. Um, yeah, like, the, I mean, we're all looking at how do we have more mental health? How do we do prevention? How do we do early intervention? Because we know we can't treat it once we have it, and addictions and all those things. So it's kind of a mess across the state and the... Um, Actually, the whole, you know, the nation. I mean, Midwest, we're all struggling with. They're looking at some grants that would, um, like HRSA grants. We just got a, a telemedicine one that we're working with that will allow us pediatric services through the clinic. If the doctor says, hey, I think this kid has ADHD, they have learning disabilities, you can pick up the phone and call them, and they'll evaluate the case at KU and then give our local providers help. Um, so we have that. But, like, it's... I can't say it's not a quick fix. Like, and there's so many factors involved with it that I. Well, and now with the new crisis facing everyone, no one knows how we're going to come out of this mm -hmm. financially or yeah. any other way. So, right, it, it's really hard to sit here and try to commit to something when. Right, right. We don't have a clue what's going to. Yeah, and and at this point, I'm not asking you. Like, I I heard what you said. Like, there's not room in the budget. So to me, I'm looking at how do we how do we strengthen our local s supports? And to me, that's prevention and early intervention, but it's also how do you create that caring, caring, compassionate neighbor that says, whoa, you're telling me some high-risk things because I just went to a, a farmer um, suicide. Like our suicide rate for farmers has gone up 45% in 17 years. And they're anticipating, I mean, we had four suicides in the four-county region just like within the last month. And, and to me, I'm like, we're only going to see it worsening as people, the farming crisis, now we have this coronavirus, you know, like, and, and people are losing fifth generation farms and there, you know, there's no hope in sight and they're anticipating next year, this year will be worse financially for the farmers. And so I, I'm not saying we're, it, we're just addressing it is all I'm saying. A, so it, you guys don't feel like it's on your plate. Um, we're working as best we can. Hello. It's a cloudy future for us all. It is. It's a cloudy future. <laughs> so, anyway. All right. Well, thank you, Kim. Yes. If you have any other questions with mental mm -hmm. health, let me know. Okay. Um, thanks for listening. I know a couple of them are here, but do you want to take a break? Sure. Take a five-minute break.